Okay, it's time to get into my Mondo Goals team for this week. And um, you know what? First of all, I cannot understand for the life of me how I didn't win last week's Mondo Goals. I had four Arsenal players in my team. Arsenal won 4 0. I had um, City players in my team. They won 4 0. I just don't get it. I don't understand what happened last week that, you know, Wall Street finished first on about 90 odd points. And um, Redmen TV, who had Liverpool players in there, finished just above me. Um, Liverpool drew, by the way, just above me um, by about three points. And I finished bottom. I really don't get how that happened. But listen, I've got a bounce back this week. And. Uh, Again, I'm putting faith in Arsenal players. Um, I bet you any money, probably you see the teams from the other guys, they're probably not going to go with uh, many Arsenal players because they're probably thinking, you know, uh, that's the sort of game that you avoid. The fact that Arsenal are playing um, against um, West Ham, you avoid that game. And you know what, there's a couple of tricky games in there because, you know, certain teams you can't really trust. I mean, Villa versus Bournemouth. Villa, who were completely down, and Bournemouth, who were on the beach. Those sort of games you don't really want to go too close to. But anyway, listen, let's get into my team. In goal, I've gone for Joe Hart. He's just back from injury. Uh, played really, really well against PSG. Uh, City are playing at home against West Brom. You've got to fancy them to get a result in that game all day long. In defence, I've gone uh, Virgil van Dijk, 8.4 million. Southampton are playing against Newcastle. Again at home, Southampton strong at home. Unlucky to lose last week against Leicester. I think they'll bounce back. They need a win. Newcastle are dreadful, so van Dijk in the team. Lauren Koscielny, I've gone. He's been solid the um, past couple of games. And Joel Ward for Crystal Palace, £7 million. Pounds. I think that's a steal. Palace up against Norwich will be a tough game. But I don't think there'll be a lot of goals in that game, so it's worth putting a Palace defender in there. Uh, Mesut Ozil, I've gone for. I know some of the other guys may go for Dimitri Payet, although he's really expensive at the moment. He's been banging in those free kicks. But I think Ozil's going to step up this weekend against West Ham. So I've gone Mesut Ozil. I've gone for Kevin De Bruyne. The only thing that worries me, De Bruyne has just come back from injury, scored against PSG, looked really, really good. The only thing that worries me, though, is that he may be rested. So I'm taking a bit of a risk by including him in the team because there is the thing that he could get rested for that game because, you know, obviously, you know, he's only just played in a Champions League game and he's only just come back. But De Bruyne, 10.9 million. Alex Iwobi has been a revelation. Scored in his last two games. I just fancy him again to continue that run. He's full of confidence. Iwobi, 7.9 million. Got to put him in there. And I've gone for a Bournemouth player. A bit of a risk here. Harry Arter, 6.8 million. As I said, Bournemouth have been dreadful, but they are up against Aston Villa. And if you can't have a good performance against Aston Villa, there's something wrong with you right now. Uh, up front, Sergio Aguero up against uh, Newcastle's defence. I mean, oh my God. I mean, <laughs> you can only see goals from Aguero. I've got Alexis Sanchez. He's back to form, this guy. I think he's starting to hit it again. And um, I fancy him if he's playing out on that right-hand side to terrorise that West Ham defence. And Graziano Pella, I think it's a steal at £6.3 million. Pounds. Only problem, again, is he doesn't always start. But if he does, I fancy him up against that Newcastle defence, which is possibly, after Villa, the worst defence in the Premier League. They are dreadful. So that's my Mondo Gold team for this week. Don't forget, if you want to enter your team, Check out the link below uh, and, and enter your team into Mondo Goals for this week. Um, we're sort of coming towards the end of the season as well. You know what I'm going to do by um, at the end of the season is I'm going to put together, and there was somebody who was sort of asking about this, um, we're going to put together like a, a load of the forfeit videos because we've done some really cool forfeits throughout the season. A couple of them that I've suffered, by the way, and I'm not looking to suffer this month. So look out for that. But that's my Mondo Goal team. Look to enter your one. Links are below. You can enter for free. You can enter in the paid league. Win yourself some money. If you win, don't forget me. Uh, welcome along to a very special feature. We're here at the bowling ground or Upton Park, as I call it. Is it what is it? The it's bowling, the bowling ground, Rob. It's the bowling ground. I've always, known, in, I've always known this ground all throughout my life as Upton Park. 
Where's the bowling thing come from? It's just the history, isn't it? The bowling ground with the castle and everything. That's the original name of the state. Everyone calls it Upton Park. Even the commentators call it Upton mm. Park. I know we're in the Upton Park area, but it is the bowling ground. Okay, sorry. The bowling ground, right? But you know what? Um, very special to be inside the ground. And uh, the last time Arsenal were actually going to play here um, before, of course, you guys moved to uh, Stratford, 